G'day, how's it going? Welcome back again. Now today I've got something different. It's a uh, a parcel from AliExpress. I love AliExpress. It's like you buy stuff and it turns up like a month later or a fortnight later and you've forgotten you've ordered it and it's always like Christmas every time. Ryan, Stick around, I'll show you what I've got. Okay, I got this parcel from AliExpress and in here there's a box and I'm just going to rip this to pieces and see what's in here. Awesome, so here's this package I've got, um, it says it's some lighting, I think I know which one this is. So I'm just going to grab that, tear that open and get rid of that, there we go. And here it is, it's a light that I've got, it's a brand name Viltrox, I ordered this uh, a few weeks ago and so I've been really looking forward to this turning up. At first I wasn't entirely sure whether this was going to be a really top quality light or one that I would use all the time or something like that, you know, you're always taking a risk when you get something off AliExpress, it could be really good, could be just a, a junker. But then I saw Adam Savage on an episode of Tested had two of these on his workbench that he was using all the time and they were always there on those big bendy stands and I thought yes that's brilliant, that's exactly what I wanted so I've been looking forward to it since, ever since then. Anyway let's um, open up this box and see what we've got. Let's start with a, uh, a warranty card and a, a little rectangle, uh, little sticker thingy, it's a, it's a certificate, there you go. See, it says certificate on it. Um, what else have I got in here? There's a manual. Uh, there's two different models of this light. Uh, this is the B model, which is just 5600 Kelvin. And um, there's also a T model, which is um, 5700 Kelvin all the way through the 3200 Kelvin. I just wanted daylight white. I didn't want to have half the brightness or not and if you get the 5600 Kelvin one it's um, just a little bit brighter than any light off the other one um, this is it says let's have a look here 1082 lumen at half a meter I love how they do it at a half meter instead of one meter which is what you normally measure lights at but they do it at half a meter they can make the number sound bigger but that actually works out to about uh, three four hundred lumen at one meter I might measure that later on um, or I might not uh, and it runs off a Sony f-type battery that so that's good um that's a type of battery that uh, runs a lot of the slightly older sony cameras or other lights that i've got i've got one just up here uh, there we go so that's a, another light that i've got i'm just going to take the battery off that one light so that i can use it in a minute oh uh, these batteries by the way i also got off aliexpress um and uh, they have got a charge meter on the top of it there and you can charge it up just with USB, you don't actually need an, an F-Type charger and um, you can also use it as a power bank, it's got a USB-A slot on the other side so I grabbed those, they're a damn good price, um, there's a link to these down in the description and um, I'll have a link to all of the stuff in the description on AliExpress which is awesome, so I'll just put that battery aside for now and have a look at what else I've got in the box here. Um, so down on the side here, I don't think this came with a power supply. No. Um, there we go. It comes with... Ah, right. It comes with a clamp thing. A ball head kind of clampy thing here, uh, which uh, obviously bolts into a tripod standard head and thread okay and that goes into the bottom of the thing and also cold shoe mount so you can mount that on whole different range of stands um and yeah that seems reasonably solid um it just goes up and down it doesn't rotate but you know that's okay it's just something that comes with it if you want a better one you can pay 12 bucks and get a better one and of course the last thing in the box here is the light itself it comes in a really good protective wrapper here which I'm going to rip open um, and here's the light hey it looks quite neat I love the um, the kind of patterning on the on the light here on the back here it's got a digital control an on off switch um, also has a 12 volt DC power input 
it's nice that it actually tells you that it's 12 volt and DC and everything because a lot of things come with a power socket and they don't even tell you what voltage it is which is uh, pretty rubbish um, I'll just put that box off to the side so the little stand thing in here oh yep that slots in sideways there so it doesn't spin around normal tripod kind of stay in it as well just tighten that up and I'll put the battery on the back and we'll see how well this thing goes and there we go so I've got that all turned on and I'll turn the power on and uh, see if it blows away any of the cameras okay that's um, quite a good amount of light I think it certainly uh, brightens me up a wee bit it's got yeah fairly good even brightness um, and if I uh, push this little button on the back here it uh, dims the light down each time I push it I believe according to the manual so if I push it once it goes to 90% then 80 70 60 all the way down to 10% according to the manual here and then if you start pushing it it climbs all the way back up again it's really nice and simple it's really bright um, I'm happy with that it's the kind of light that you can have on your desk that's going to give you a lot more even light than something like this is just because it's got dramatically larger surface it's a equivalent brightness to this I think um, and they were only uh, what was it 45 New Zealand dollars or something for these I've got two of them actually the other one I've got over here running already just because I needed to even out the light on the side of me and it means I can probably just set these up instead of using the big studio lights that I've got up here that are just are honestly just a little bit too bright for doing this thing a little bit harder to control so um yeah that's uh, great i'm really happy with this purchase it's solid it doesn't feel like it's going to break if you put any pressure on it i don't want to put too much pressure on it or i'll break it um and uh, this is the there's the model on the back there it's the l132b there you go viltrox monitor um as i said links below and uh, brilliant lights pun intended uh, if you're interested in one of these things, uh, click on the link below and go get one and tell me how they worked. If that's all I've got for this video anyway, just uh, quickly wanted to show you what I've got here. Um, if you like it, click there and I'll go get more stuff. And uh, if you want to watch another one of my videos, click up here or here. Some really cool videos that YouTube said that you'd like because uh, they work that kind of stuff out for us. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.